you so much for choosing KTN News. This is We Can Express. And if you're just joining us, you are right in time for that discussion. But I promise you, because today we are live from Maria Sorti Girls Educational Center. And we get to hear from some of the voices of this generation. Allow me to introduce my panel on this side, because on this other side, I have a great, huge um, girls, a group of girls, right, where you get to hear their own personal stories. But on this side, I have the head girl, as well as the head teacher. Head teacher is Jane Rutich and Cynthia Rutich, who is the head girl. The head teacher is Jane Rutich. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Let me tell you, I love the colors of your school. You're so lucky. Thank Not so you. many schools have great colors. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jane Rutich, I'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about this school. Thank you. Good morning, all. Welcome to Maria Sotti. Maria Sotti is a, a girls' school mm -hmm. in Elgeo Marquette County. We have 300 girls. Um, we started 10 years ago, mm -hmm. so we, are celebra we celebrated our 10th anniversary uh, last year. So this is Maria Sotti. Uh, we have great values that we have for the students, quality, excellence, and integrity. And integrity. Yes. I love that. All right. Um, I'll, now, Cynthia, as head girl, um, first of all, tell me about how you were appointed head girl, because it's always funny how students get to be appointed. Was, did you, do you guys do internal voting? Yeah, we do, we do. So you had to run up a campaign? <laughs> yeah, I had to. Uh, tell me about it and how it went. Uh, the campaign was successful. I was able to select it by these beautiful girls as the head girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just amazing. There are people who can give you support, and they're, they're just amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. Who's your best friend? Marion. Where is Marion? Where is Marion? Can we get a mic to Marion? Oh, is, is she the one yeah, all the way she there? Is. Hi, Marion. How are you? Could you introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Marion Jelimo. As she has said, I'm her best friend. I'm in Form 4. How is it having a BFF who is a head, who is a head girl? Is she tough on you? No, not really, but definitely if I'm not <laughs> online, she'll have to correct me. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. And what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is mathematics. Mathematics? Yes. What, would, what do you want to study when you go to university? Biomedical engineering. Biometric, wow. Why biometrical engineering? Well, actually, I was, at first, I wanted to do medicine. Uh -huh. Then when I came to high school and found physics, I also wanted to do f engineering. So biomedical engineering is somehow a combination of both medical medicine and engineering. Yeah. Wow. That's All right. Who else wants to do biometric engineering? <laughs> who else? OK, who wants to do engineering? You want to do engineering? Let's get let's let's <laughs> let's get a mic to this side. There you go. So first of all, you have to tell me your name. You have to introduce yourself. All right. All right. Start up. What's your name? Linda Kipto. Linda. Yes. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your f first of all? What's your not so favorite subject? I think Kiswahili. Kiswahili. <laughs> <laughs> and you are in form. I'm in form for North. Form four. Yeah. You also want to do engineering? Yes. Why engineering? Uh, my dad is an engineer, so oh. I just came to like engineering. Dad is also an engineer? Yes. That's beautiful. Who wants to do something different from engineering? I feel like you girls are just too smart. For me, maths wasn't my favorite subject. <laughs> who wants to do something? All of you want to become engineers? No. Okay. Who wants to tell me what they want to become? Because I want to have an idea. Yes. Linda? You see your colleague right there? What's your name? Okay, my name is Karen Cherono. Uh huh. And what would you want to study when, when you get to university? I need to be a dentist. A dentist? That's yeah. Fun. Why dentistry? Okay, because it was my passion. Okay, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. Now, let me ask, um, Cynthia, for you, who, who, who do you look up to? I look up to my model? mother. Your mom? Yeah, she she's my role model. Mm -hmm. She's just amazing. Her, she's the working. Mm -hmm. That is what uh, makes me to look at her as my role model. Okay. Yeah. And if you were to have lunch or dinner with anyone in the world, who would it be? And why? Wow. Uh, I'm not even sure. You're not even sure. Uh, yeah. I'll let you think about it. Yeah, okay. Who knows if, if today if today you are given a chance to sit with anyone in the entire world and have dinner or lunch with them, 
who would it be? I want someone to share with us. Who? Just put your hand up and I'll be able to see you. Yes, there's, an, there's a confident girl right here. Could we get a mic to her? Don't worry, the mic is coming. It's right behind you. There you go. Uh, What's I'm your name? My, I'm Sheila Korir. Hi, Sheila. Hi. So if you were to have lunch or dinner, anyone in the entire world, who would it be? Yes, Barack Obama. It has to be Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Barack Oba Why Barack Obama? Uh, I love his leadership as a leader of America. He was really a good man. He was a good man. He was a great president. Yeah. And the first black president of the U.S. Yeah. Okay. Do you want Michelle Obama to be part of the dinner? I think she's a great woman as well. Yeah, what obvious. Do you want to <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to study when you go to university? Yeah, I want to study law. Law. Yeah. Do you want to go into politics? Because President Barack Obama is her favorite person. And then you want to do law? Yeah, I really love politics. In you fact. love politics? Yeah. Why are your students so well? She's laughing. <laughs> you guys don't like politics? No? Okay, fine. You like politics, right? Yeah. What do you think about politics in Kenya? Okay, politics in, in Kenya is just too much, but it's not that good. Like, there's a lot of, they take a lot of time doing corruption, no, mm. politics instead of uh, developing our country. But right. if I, I make to be a, one of the politicians, I want to do something to improve the politics in our country. Mm. And you, what? <laughs> you need to do something to improve the politics in our country. Yeah. What is one aspect that you're passionate about that you feel like you'd want the government to pay attention to? Is it young girls? Is it street children? What would you do given? If today we all voted for her to become president, uh -huh. what, what, what would you want to deal with first? What, is, what are you passionate about? Corruption. Wow. Mm, that is fantastic. And you will become a great leader in this country. Amen. Thank you. All right, who else, who else wants to share their story? I'm looking for another confident girl. Who wants to go into politics as well? You never know, you can be her running mate. Ladies, yes, yes. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Imelda Jifkosge. And you also want to go into politics? Yeah. Why politics? Um, Personally, uh, I love politics because of uh, there's this lady. Uh, she's the senator of Wazingishu, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Margaret Kamar. Mm -hmm. She's our patron, and I just love how she, she leads us. She's uh, our principal tells us uh, she takes notes when, when she's in the Senate House. Mm -hmm. So she has really inspired me. She has great leadership qualities. Yeah. What other great leadership qualities um, are important, especially to become a politician, that you feel are important? Integrity. Yes. Uh, hard work. Uh -huh. And excellence. Okay. And I'll also pose the same question to you. If you are to have dinner with anyone in the world, who would it be? Um, personally, uh, our president, yeah. And what would you tell Mr. Kenyatta today? <coughs> um, I'd like to congratulate him mm -hmm. for, he has really, uh, helped us, especially El Geo Marraquet, mm -hmm. uh, during a uh, funeral of our patron. Uh, he made some promises, and at least he he bought a, a bus to our nearing school here, Biwat's Day. Aha, okay. uh -huh, that yeah. is fantastic. Who else? And what's your favorite subject? Oh, she's already... <laughs> I love biology. You love biology? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, fantastic. I want to hear from another girl. Yes, there's a hand right there. Hi. 
Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your name? I'm Marcy Grace. Hi, Marcy. I'm fine. So, Marcy, tell me a little bit about you. You in Form 4? Yes. What's your favorite subject? English. And what's your not so favorite subject? Math. Math? <laughs> <laughs> I understand completely. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want to study in university? Uh, I want to do music and journalism. Wow, music and journalism? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, very nice. And who do you look up to? Um, Who's your role model? My role model? Yeah. <laughs> my mother. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Why mom? Um, she does everything to, yeah. to give us what we need. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's hardworking. Mm -hmm. That's why I look up to her to be mm -hmm. su successful in life. And to be successful in life. And yes. you will be successful in life. Amen. <laughs> uh, Jean, you have amazing girls, very confident. So, What do you think are some of the challenges that um, perhaps the girls um, go through? And not just girls here, but just girls in general within the secondary system here in Kenya. Thank you, yeah. Um, girls undergo a lot of challenges, not necessarily from Maria Sotti, mm. but generally the youth. You know, today, the world is full of new things, mm -hmm. like in technology. Right. I really find that um, unless girls are uh, directed, they can easily be swayed mm -hmm. by the use of technology. Mm -hmm. Look at um, a lot of influence from the Western influence. Mm -hmm. We have issues of Facebook. Mm -hmm. We have all those um, generally technology. technology. And I find that uh, girls really need to be assisted by parents yeah. so that they can be well grounded mm -hmm. to face these challenges. Yeah. Because they are with us. Mm. We really have to come in as adults mm -hmm. to help them to live with it. To live, exactly. Yes. All right, Cynthia, are you on Instagram like me? Yes, I am. You're on Instagram? Yeah. What's your handle? C underscore Chelangat. Okay. Um, so technology is part of us. Yeah, it's And it's true. not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. But how can we as girls and, and young people be responsible online? Uh, being online is not bad. Being in all social medias. But you have to control on how you act there in the social medias. Mm -hmm. You know, currently we had an issue of the social media something, the pics and everything. Right. But as we sat down and thought, but this is not right. So we as students, we've decided that, and the youth, we've decided that uh, being on social media, yes, is not bad, it's good, but we have to control what we do there in social media. I like that. Who else agrees with Cynthia? That it's okay to be on Facebook, Instagram, um, who, by the way, is on Instagram? Oh, oh now everyone's hands go up. <laughs> um, who holds up? Someone is holding the mic. I see you. You're already holding the mic, so you have to stand up. Because you have to... Tell me, are you on Instagram? Are you on no. Facebook? No. Ah, ah, you're on Instagram? Okay, which, which platform are you on? Just WhatsApp. <laughs> Just WhatsApp? <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. I want to know how do you think we as young girls can be responsible online? I know Cynthia has said we need to be careful with the content that we share, right, ladies? So what else can we do as young people in this generation? <laughs> because technology is part of us, right? So what can we do to become more responsible online? I just... Uh, you, do, you do something that's meaningful to you. Mm -hmm. Like, you do the... You use the Instagram to search for things that are useful to you, not to see some pics or some things which are not helpful. That are not helpful. Yeah. Like online bullying. Can we talk about online bullying a, a little bit? Have you guys ever seen someone who's being bullied online? Yeah. Have you? You've seen? Yeah. And how? what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, what do you think we should do? We can stand up to bullies online as well, right? Yeah. So what do you think we can do? I think uh, we should be... The online people should be careful with what people do in online. I think they should have a control mm -hmm. of, the, of their online social, the social media platforms mm -hmm. and see that this is not good in our social media platform and we have to eradicate. And we have to do that, yeah. right? Who else wants to add to what Cynthia has said? I think that's a fantastic point. I can see someone who's holding the mic. Yes, do not shy away. Come on, stand up. What's your name? Uh, Azuba Sylvia. Pardon? Azuba Sin. Oh, that's a nice name. Thank you. What's your favorite subject? Physics. Physics? Yeah. You girls are so smart. Physics. Oh. <laughs> All right. And what do you think that 
as young girls, we can do online to make sure that um, we help in the fight of online bullying? Because bullying is not right, right, ladies? Uh, most of the people who bully others, they, they're just having fun, but then they actually hurt people. Mm. So I believe the only way to stop this is to stand up to a bully. To stand up to the bully. Yeah. Who else agrees? I want to hear from, I want to hear different ideas. I want to hear different ideas. And no answer is wrong or right. <laughs> who else? Choose someone. Choose someone else. Choose someone at random. Who is your best friend? Uh huh. She has to stand up. She has to stand up. Hi, best friend. Hi. What's your name? My name is Priscilla Anjiko. Oh, and you, what's your favorite subject? Um, I've suddenly taken an interest in history. In hi I loved history too. <laughs> Between you and I, I loved history. I was bad in physics, but I loved history. <laughs> so what do you think that we can do to make sure that as young people, that online we're being responsible? Um, for me personally, I think that um, the things you post, I think you should post things that are positive mm -hmm. and you should like defend people who are being bullied. You can just back them up. And back them up, right? Yeah. Okay. I love that answer. Thank it's you. beautiful. Um, Jane, I love what the students are saying because you know, technology is not something that we can brush off. It's here to stay with us. Um, do you want to add on top of that probably what you think that young people in this generation need to do when it comes to taking online responsibility? Yes. As uh, I said earlier, technology is here to stay and it's here with us. I only want to request the youth to use it responsibly. Mm. Like, um, you cannot be on Facebook, taking all your time on Facebook. You be responsible on what you, f you post. You be responsible on even that, that bullying that is happening. I want to say, let, let's not allow anybody to bully us. Mm -hmm. Take charge of what you do online mm -hmm. so that you don't allow bullies to come to your side. Otherwise, I want to say it is possible to be responsible with technology. You, are, you are give time. You are actually apportion your time so that you know when are you on online, on Facebook, on all those, and when are you doing other things that are physical. Right. Because my worry is, you know, the youth can be on TV. Mm -hmm. They can actually watch movies the whole night. Mm -hmm. They can be on Facebook, you know, the whole night. And... Um, in the end, they can be even hurting themselves, their, their, their physical health. Mm -hmm. So I want to just urge the youth, let us live with this technology, but let us be responsible. And let's not allow anybody to hurt us in uh, the social media. All right. Let's talk about leadership um, a little bit, because I see great women who are going to be the next presidents, the next doctors, the next lawyers, the next engineers. Uh, the next journalists, okay? So can we talk about leadership a little bit and what is we feel that is important when it comes to leadership, right? First of all, where is the mic? Whoever has the mic stands up. <laughs> there she is. I see you. What's your name, my dear? My name is Masi Tetio. Masi. What do you want to be when you grow up, Masi? I want to become a journalist. A journalist? Yeah. Wow, fantastic. So you want to become a journalist. Yeah. What do you think are the key values that when it comes to leadership, we should have. I love what, what, what Cynthia said, integrity. Remember when Cynthia was talking about integrity? Yeah? So what do you think for you it's important as a value system? Um, hard work. Hard work is important. Transparency mm -hmm. and integrity. And integrity. Yeah. I love that. Cynthia, what, what about you? I want you to add to that because she's, she's, the, head, she's the head girl right here. Yeah. And... I want you to add on top of that. Responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah. Do we have an, an entertainment prefects? Where are the, where, where are the prefects? <laughs> By the way, I'm coming to the prefects. I'm gonna, where are the prefects? Where are the prefects? Could you guys snitch and tell me, show me? Okay, there we go. Could we get a mic to her? Hi. <laughs> How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank what, you. What's your name? I'm Shifran Jarogi. And you, which prefect do you, which, which department do you handle? Entertainment. Oh, I was entertainment prefect too, mm -hmm. but I was bad in physics. <laughs> Just between you and I. That's my secret, okay? Yeah. What you, so what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a surgeon. A surgeon? Yeah. Oh, wow. You girls, have you heard of that? Just become a surgeon. What do you think are key responsibilities or other, what do you think is important to you when it comes to values? Pardon? What do you think is important when it comes to values? Oh, 
Um, hard work is important. Hard work is important. Yeah. All right. Um, choose for me another prefect. Who is the prefect of food? Ah, 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 ah. I should have started with her. Hey. Yeah. Who is the prefect okay. for food? Diane. Where, where is she? I should make her my best friend now that we are here because... Yeah. <laughs> food. food, prefect for chakula, my friend. Where is she? Wait, you're in charge of food? And you're sitting closer to me? Hey. Okay. Let's pass them. There you go. What's your name? Okay, I'm Sheila Kesio. Sheila. Yeah. And you're in charge of food? Yeah. Do you guys eat avocado? No. No? Yeah. Ah, okay, fine. No problem. It's okay. We'll find a way around it. What's your favorite subject? Okay, um, business. I like business. You like business? Yeah. Do you want to go into business? Exactly. What, what exactly? So, who? Oh, we're looking at the next business <laughs> women. You people are not serious. These are the people who are going to bring employment. Okay, yeah, I, I want to work with, um, with a, maybe an insurance company or a bank. Yeah. Okay, in a bank? Yeah. Okay, and then tell me, who do you look up to? Mm, my dad. Your dad? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Why dad? Um, He's hard working. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like hard work is very important. Yeah. You guys say hard work is important, and I yeah. agree, right? Mm -hmm. um, Jane, how do you guys go about choosing prefects? Because the girls are very eloquent. Yeah. The, the girls choose the prefects for themselves. Mm -hmm. So they, they identify among themselves who will be their leaders. Okay. And then the, the teachers can just come in to endorse their choices. Okay, so you guys get to choose who your prefects are. In, in my high school, they, they just chose for us. We didn't get to choose who became. You guys are lucky. All right, I want to talk to another prefect. Sports. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, talk, uh, let's talk to the prefect for sports. First of all, you guys have sports activities? Yeah. Like? Basketball. I'm guessing basketball is everyone's favorite. Yes. Ah, no, no. Okay, so we have, okay, what else is there? Football. Football? Netball. Netball? Netball. Okay, Netball. all right. Okay, so let's talk to the sports prefect. Hi, sports prefect. How are you? What's your name? Come again. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you play any sports? Yes. Which one? Basketball. Basketball. Are you serious? Yes. Basketball is fantastic. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't play it, but I mean, I watch it. Does that count? Mm, it, yeah. it does. All right. So what do you want to be? What do, what do you want to study? A professional basketballer, mostly. Ah, all right. So we're going to come back and we're going to talk to more of you guys. But right now we can express this taking a quick commercial break. And we're right here in this specific school. When we come back, we still get to listen to more of the students to so stay with us.